my name is Joey Bull and I'm a four times fitness champion and the author of my book Tidy the Temple. I'm here at Health Vista today to share with you my decades of experience with my first choice ab exercises. So let's get going with it. We're going to start with a weight, just for a little bit of a warm up. Three kilos is great. And we're just going to pull it round, pull it in. I like to mobilize the spine and the midsection before we get really to the gritty of all the ab work we've got ahead of us. Even doing this, you'll feel your obliques engaging, which are the side muscles here. Now we're going to change the angle of it and drop it a little bit lower, lift it up over the arch, drop it over, up and over. Same thing here, if you keep the rotation on the side, you'll feel exactly where I'm trying to warm up and work. Now we're going to take the classic wood chop. So you hold that high and as if chopping wood, you swing it down. Lengthen the legs, rotate the shoulders and bend down. You can add a little bit of, make it more syncopated. So it's sharper on the down, slower on the up. Then change sides. And now we're shopping up a little bit, a bit of speed dropping, lifting. Okay, unusually, now we're going to work from with the arms above the abs. So feet together. Bend the knees, lengthen out, lengthening the knees, the weight going up it. So this is just a straightforward start to it. But now I want you to take it on the angle. So you push it out to the angle. While it looks like it's an arm exercise, you will notice that you'll feel it lengthening out on the sides and working well in the obliques. Now if you have a band, we can make use of that by hooking it around a handle or something that waist height. Double it up so that it's nice and secure, so it's really hooked on. And we're going to do just a few rotations, starting with this nice and square, and then you punch it away. Bend and lengthen everything. Bend everything and lengthen everything. The important thing is to not let this arm open out there, because then it's going to be a chest move. Here, keeping it contained means that if you put your hand here, you'll feel exactly where we're trying to work. We'll take six faster. Then we can add a little bit of energy to this workout too. And I'll switch sides. So keep it bent, rotate it round as if it's a jab, like a box move. And speed it up for six. Okay, lying on the mat. Take the feet together so that they're Knees are open, hands behind the head. Keep the knees away from you, don't allow them to come towards you. Nice and low into the mat, avoid any arching if you can. Sit up, breathe out, squeeze those knees together and bring it back down. Now this, while you're doing that squeezing action, I want you to think of the whole lower segment area. So all those muscles that we don't tend to think about or work out, literally zip up from the backside right up to the abdominals. And still keep those knees away from you, don't let them creep back towards you, you want to keep them away. Try and keep the stomach low and flat, and imagining each time you're coming up, you're emptying out that way rather than lower. Okay, keep the legs in that position. Take the arms above the head and just lift them a few centimeters off the floor and lower. So we're not looking for a big high arm lift, nor the head and shoulders coming very high, but just a very focused and low move that's gonna start working in these upper abs any moment. Now we can turn that into reaching for the shins. 
everything nice and slow. We don't need to knock out hundreds of these things. If you pick a few good exercises, you'll find you only really need to do about eight reps or so of each one. Okay, we're gonna roll over now onto our front. On the hands and feet. A little bit more energy here. So we jump forward wide and back and forward and back. Up and back. Let's take four more. Now we're going to corkscrew it. So we rotate it up to each side leg. Up. Another four. And now lying into, into the plank position. If you struggle with the plank position, of course you can keep your, your knees down where you need to. If you're fine with it, let's go for it. Lifting up here. So if you're down on your knees, you're just looking to drop the hips up and over a little bit. But with the feet wide here, lift the hips, drop them over to the side, lift them up, drop them over the other side, up and over. And just take another four. Reposition your shoulders if they're feeling a bit tired. With your toes down, dig the toenails in, bring them back, rock forward. Rock forward. Again, if, you need, if your knee's down, you can still get something out of this by just dipping down and coming up into it and dipping down. We keep going. Another five rocks. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap one foot out to the side, the other foot out, and out. Rolling over before the arms get too tired. We get back to that position again. Widen the legs, hands going through, just pulse it lightly through. Let's go for 10. Back into your plank position, but this time we're going to take it on the hands and we take regular mountain climbers. And then take them across, is what we call grasshoppers, across here. This is going to use up more of the obliques again. Another four. Turn around onto your back. Lift the legs up. Hands slightly lifted. Head, chest, and up. And just bounce, breathing in and breathing out. So kind of bounce the arms for three counts, breathing in and breathe out. Two, three. Let's do four more series. Two, and breathe out, and three, and breathe out. Adjusting the position a little bit onto your elbows. Let's lengthen out, pull it up, lengthen out, pull it up. This might not suit people with lower back conditions, so just skip this one. Find an alternative that you'd rather do than this one if you feel a little bit vulnerable in your low back. Okay, we're going to go over onto our front now. Now, if you have some paper, I've got a nice slippery floor, so I'm fine with this. But if you've got two pieces of paper you want to put beneath the floor, you can get a nice slide. So we're going to slide in, slide in, alternating the legs. Really put the weight on those front toes. Then change the angle a little bit. Slide it across. And then make it more oval. Jump it out and oval shape. Then holding that position, we're going to drag them both in together. Drag them in and out. And last one, and in. Okay, let's lie on your back again. We're going to take the arms above the head, sit up and grab your knees. It might take a little bit of technique to find the balance. Sit up and drop, and up and drop. See how the hands and feet actually aren't touching the floor in between. 
We'll do another four of these. Once again, this probably won't be a favorite for people with the lower back troubles, but there are plenty of other exercises in this workout that you can, can pick from. Back into the pike, plank position, we're going to take plank to pike. So we're here, and then we lift up and drop down. And lift up and down. And lift up. So this is a nice, short, intense workout that will get your abs ready for the summer season or whatever you're hoping to show them off in and last one and relax so that's the end of our ab workout look out for more workouts with myself and healthista one for legs and one for upper body